As a child, she grew up performing in front of thousands of people. He was a musician playing on tour with major acts like Shaka Khan. Together, they became Two Hearts. We feel that uh, God has given us a mission, and our number one goal, I think, is for us is to know Him better ourselves. It seems like there is a new move of people wanting to be real with their faith and not fake. And some nights, Michael and I would go on and do our shows, and there have been like maybe two or three times that we've been in an argument or a disagreement or button heads and you take it on stage and you think how can you go up on stage and be talking about the wonderful love of the Lord and the things that the Lord has told you and brought you through and I'm singing this song or this song or whatever and then be at odds I'll tell you what God when you admit to God things and you speak them out loud for me God's healed things in us and uh, we want to admit that we're not perfect. And we have a real heart for young kids and to really encourage them to be strong, to wake up, stand up for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope that God allows us to continue to doing this for some time to come. Michael and Carrie Hodge, two hearts on a mission. Carrie Hodge spent most of her childhood performing on everything from Las Vegas reviews to television shows. She was on The Tonight Show twice, once when Rowan and Martin hosted the show and later with Johnny Carson. And then Rowan and Martin, a couple weeks later, brought me back on and uh, said, do you know why you're back on here? <laughs> and I was like, well, I thought because you guys asked me. They said, because people did not believe that you were only 10 years old. And then uh, about a couple of months went by, and uh, I got to go back and meet Johnny Carson, and he brought me on. And, you know, I was doing all the talk shows, Mike Douglas and Merv Griffin, and I did a lot of the Jerry Lewis telethons. But really, I mean, that's really all I've known all my life. Um, by the time I was 17, I moved to New York, and um, about uh, in 1982 or 83, I really decided I really want a record deal. And that's when I moved out to L.A. And um, I was signed in 86 with Barry Gordy. He was my manager, and I was signed to Motown. I can see, looking back on my life and the things, when I see tapes or pictures or anything, it really reminds me of, like, my little sister, you know? Because I don't really, it doesn't really feel like me. But I, I look at her as, like, my little sister. When I did get signed to Motown, my second album was when I met Michael. I just, I'm real thankful to know that... Uh, I'm doing what I love to do. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of people can't say that they love their jobs. And I really don't feel like, sometimes I feel like it's a job, but sometimes I feel like, you know, thank you, Lord, because I love what I do. Give Him the Word is the new release from Two Hearts. Michael says the title cut is a reminder that the word needs to be heard, and Tyndale Publishers is going to help make sure the word gets out by endorsing Two Hearts while they're on the road. Uh, Give Him the Word is a song that uh, we're really excited about. It's, it's about giving people the Word of God, whether you get it on the street, put it on the radio, whether you do it in song, whatever you do to encourage people to get into the Word of God because it has the power to change our lives. And we're so excited that Tyndale has uh, endorsed us with this song and uh, they have a Bible app that's incredible called the Life Application Bible for Students. And so we're going to be uh, endorsing this Bible, and, which is an honor for us, and uh, just encouraging people to to give them the word. Dan Dean wrote Going Home for Two Hearts, and Carrie says it's the kind of song that brings believers back to the realization of going home one day. It really is an emotional song, and it really does get you thinking. I mean, for me, I can honestly say for me, I don't think about going to heaven a lot. I don't know why, maybe because I haven't had a child yet. I think, okay, Lord, just don't come back until I have a baby, you know, or... But I mean, the other night, Michael and I, we were reading our Bible and uh, he had just gotten home from the studio and he, he said, can you believe that God has a mansion for us? We were reading um, in John and um, 
just the things that God has in store for us when we get there. It, it's, it's, to me, I think it's so incredible that I don't think about it. I think heaven's going to be so beautiful, but yet it's so overwhelming to me that God has so many plans for us when we do get there. And we should be excited about going home. Talk about a Wall Street with its ups and its downs. Talk about some new restaurant you found outside of town. Front page of the paper says ceasefire could be inside. Home team made a comeback and won a big game last night but in the back of my mind something seems wrong when our conversation never turns to home isn't anybody talking about going home anymore isn't anybody talking about Michael and Kerry decided that the song He Will Carry You was perfect for their new album. We're really excited about Carry You because it's a song that Scott Wesley Brown wrote uh, many years ago. It's a, it's a kind of a Christian classic. And uh, there's a scripture in Matthew that says, uh, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And uh, it's such a neat thing to think that there is nothing so great that God cannot intervene in our lives. There's no problem that we have or or like the song says, any mountain that's so big that God cannot move it. And uh, this song really has touched my heart, and, and when Carrie sings it, I just it almost brings a tear to my eye because I, I need that from the Lord. I need to know that, that, that He is all-powerful and that He cares about the things that I go through. There is no problem too big God cannot solve it There is no mountain too tall cannot move it. There is no stone too dark that cannot calm it. There is no sorrow too deep. He cannot soothe it. If he carried the weight of the world upon his shoulders, fun and moving songs on Give Him the Word is a song that Carrie wrote called Because of You. She was out walking one day and the melody just came. I, I just really noticed, started noticing the flowers and I started the, to notice the colors of the sky and the clouds and how fat they looked like cotton candy, you know. And I started singing this melody and I had had this melody in my head for, for a while. And then I just started singing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's written in the clouds on the face of the moon. And every note I sing, it's because of you. To me, that is my song to the Lord, thanking him for everything that he has made. Because how can you not go outside, out in your backyard, and, and not see the things that the Lord has given us? spiritual romance and musical rhythm and the song wake up has lyrics and groove we really have a, a desire to see people standing up for the things of god and uh 
that's one of the lines. Wake up and and uh, stand up for the things of the Lord in the song. Wake up, and uh, it's really a, a high energy funk encouragement for people to be strong in the Lord, stand up, wake up, and uh, smell the coffee. This song needs to be played at full volume at all times. So many people sleep at the wheel. Brian Tankersley with singer-songwriter Rick Crawford put together the song Faithful to remind everybody that relationships really are forever. A guy by the name of Rick Crawford and and Brian, our producer, wrote this song and to me it means a lot. When I was reading the lyrics and everything I thought, you know, this is really what a friend can say to another friend and I, when, when I was singing I Will Be Faithful I was thinking of my really close relationships with a couple of girlfriends that I have that I thought this is something that uh, anybody could give to their friend whether it be a uh, female or male yeah faithfulness is uh, is one of the things that seems to really be lacking in our society today and uh, I, it seems like so many people are giving up on friendships All you see it all the time uh, relationships splinter and whether it's a, a relationship of a marriage or a, uh, a friendship between uh, a couple guys or a couple girls, it seems like so many people are so fragmented in their relationships. And this song, I think, has such a great message for the church. release from Star Song's exciting new duo, Two Hearts. We always want to be humble, and that's the bottom line. And we always want to treat everybody, no matter, on the same level. You know, not this person isn't better than this person. And I think that that's some, a focus for me that I'm really, really trying to work on for me, is really be humble about things that God's given us. All the great new songs on Give Them the Word from Two Hearts on Star Song cassettes and CDs. Star Song, where artistry meets ministry. Put it on the-